how is it better your how is it better your life learning that the earth is flat? I found out that we're all brothers and sisters. I found out that there's no reason to ever live in fear. I found out that God or prana or universal consciousness or this beautiful force that you call out is within me. I found out that I can survive just on air and water and basic fruits. I found out that we have abundance of energy. I found out that we should not live in a world of competition but a world of cooperation. I found out that religions are fear-based. I found out that the history we've been told is a lie. I found out that the pyramids of Egypt are not pyramids made for mummies, but are power stations. And there are more power stations in China and in America than there are in Egypt. I found out there's so many lies and history, which is his story, was being illusion, which made me become agnostic and question everything. And if he tells me something, I'm not going to tell him liar. I'm going to research it. And if it's true, great. I will start preaching it. So it's your journey of investigation of finding out what is the truth is more important when we're flat or not. The world being flat is basically a way for you to understand that you are the center of this earth. And when that happens, you move out of the ego and you become ego. You move on to the me, 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 and you go into the we, we, we. Why? Because you realize you have a responsibility. Versus you speak to any new future generation, he'll tell you, yeah, this place will probably explode in 10 years. I'm going to be in the first trip to Mars. I'm going to be in Neptune. You know what? I'm going to find another galaxy and they're going to name it after me. It's a mindset. It's a mind construct. So the journey of investigation challenging beliefs is what's more important science, than science. Science, not beliefs. Okay, okay science. It's more important than a certain degrees. I want to confirm. Now, when I found out there was a deception, and when I found out the scientist of the century, Nikola Tesla, died broke at the age of 89, and he gave you 400 patents, your Wi-Fi, your radio, your induction motor, your electricity that you use came from a guy that died broke. How would you accept that as a human? Tell me. In fact, all the kids, who's the smartest guy in the world? Tell me. He's going to say Einstein. Yes or no? Why? Because Einstein gave us something called string theory. Theory of relativity. The only thing Einstein invented was a compressor that they used in the back of an AC. That's it. And helped a little bit with photons and photonic uh, sunlight. He managed to sell it. Yes, 100%. He managed to sell it. They even asked him to become the president of Israel. You know that story. He was violent. He was aggressive. He was an alcoholic. And he was an image. Versus a man like Tesla is a man we're supposed to not worship. Because no one should worship anything. Because at the end of the day, Tesla didn't invent. When I get a magnet and I do this, and I turn it on a copper, and I see electrons floating, I just created electricity. But this isn't something an invention we discovered. Why when we were growing up and we thought of fire, the only thing we could think about was this wood. Why didn't they teach us about the magnets and the copper growing up? This is information we should have learned about. There's a lot of knowledge we should have learned about. Yes. First thing they're supposed to... First thing you're supposed to teach a child who's a sponge for the first seven years is how to breathe. The importance of filling up your body with oxygen, getting carbon out, putting your alkali levels up, putting your uh, immune system up, then teach him how to plant seeds. Teach him how easy it is to survive just on fruits, correct? How to work as brothers and sisters, how to love thy neighbor. Instead, what are we teaching him? What are we teaching? What's your favorite cartoon? Simpson. Have you done any course on plumbing? Do you know anything about plumbing? Why? But teach him plumbing, teach him carpentry, teach him how to sew, teach him how to communicate. You know what I mean? And get him off the sugar. Sugar is killing all of us. It's not the cigarettes or the drugs or any of the above. It's the sugar.